was there for, for 12 years, um, which is a long time. Um, mm -hmm. So it was a fantastic job. I, I, I loved the people. I loved the opportunity to do it. Um, I feel like we achieved everything I set out to do. But um, you know, 12 years, I don't think anybody should do a job for, for more than 12 years. Um, and uh, it is currently in the hands of um, a guy I hired, um, uh, Scott Dadich, as my creative director. And he was the one who pioneered our march to the iPad. So I felt he was the right person to take Wired to its next, to its next chapter. And, um, you know, change is good. No, I think media, media is fine. It is fine. I mean, again, you know, YouTube didn't kill Hollywood. They made clear in, in all my books that the technology represents is it destroys monopolies, but doesn't destroy industries. You know, last year, Wired had its best year in history. Last year? Last year, 2012, um, my last year there. Best year in history, you know, highest circulation, biggest web traffic, revenues, everything. Um, it, quality media continues to do well. Hollywood, I think, has never had, is having its best year in history. Television's having its best year, at least in the United States, is having its best year in history. All that choice, all that competition just raises the game. In general, m you know, I think media is now much more broadly defined. There's professionals, there's amateurs, there's free, there's paid, there's, you know, I mean, I don't know what Twitter is, is Twitter media, I don't know what Facebook is, is Facebook media, but it's clear that consumers have more, 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 more uh, competition, more choices, um, but it's also clear that they're consuming more. So 3D Robotics is um, about uh, three years old. Um, we're uh, one of the major manufacturers of drone technology. Um, we're built around an open source community that came out of DIY drums, an open community. Um, we, uh, we take the uh, designs and the software that the community builds and we turn it into products. Um, we're mostly a manufacturing company, um, which is to say we make electronics and, you know, the, sort of the frames of the drones and some of the plastic parts that you go into it. You a lot because you have a lot of fun. Multi-million dollar company, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's, um, we, we, don't, we don't give out our financials, but... Um, so we don't do military, we do civilian drones. Um, these are drones used for things like agriculture, um, for crop surveys. Um, Hollywood, you know, is aerial photography. Um, they're used for experimental platforms uh, for education. Things like um, scientific sensing, um, uh, loss, you know, search and, and rescue, things like that. It's about it's about one third hobbyists who just want to you know sort of play with advanced robotic technology. Um, one third um, developers, uh, people who are building, you know, academics and other you know engineers and people who want to build on this platform. It's an open platform, so it's a development platform. And one third people who just want it to to do a job, um, like uh, crop surveys. Um, Hollywood. Um, you want to, you want to, if you're, want a drone to follow you around with a camera on you, get an aerial image of whatever you're doing. That's what they can do. Do you explain? <laughs> uh, no, we we uh, for you to follow you around, to follow yourself around. I see. We um, we we spying's illegal. And is it expensive to be in this uh, kind of hobby? It costs about five hundred dollars. Well, I mean, do it yourself is. I mean, on the web, everybody is now a writer, right? You know, do-it-yourself has come to video and, and pictures and, and writing. If you have a Facebook page, YouTube, or Instagram, you know, you're doing, it, it's DIY media, right? And you can reach an audience of 8 billion people if you want. So we see what DIY does. It doesn't destroy industries. It does create new industries and certainly creates new companies. But now that DIY, DIY ethos is coming to manufacturing as well, or at least, or at least making. And what does DIY mean? It just means that the, as the tools get better, it becomes easier to do things. When you make it easier to do things, more people do it. Anytime you, you, you take hard things and make them easy, you get a huge expansion in the, in the number of people participating. And these people bring with them their own ideas, their own energies, context, passions, etc. And that's how you change the world. So we, you know, there, we think of other things as being today as being scarce or expensive. We think of, um, you know, that for example, access to a factory. We think that's scarce. Well, the reality is it's abundant. Anybody has access to a factory. You can click on the web and you can get it. Um, we think of design skills as being scarce. In fact, they're as abundant as writing skills are. And you know, my children design. Um, you know, they're good at it. Um, soon, soon many will be. Um, and this means that once again, you know. 
when you, when you realize that these skills are all around us, just waiting for the right tools, that, that suddenly you go from, oh, I must talk to a big company to get this done, to let's just throw it out there on the web and see what happens. And that, that's abundance thinking, recognizing that, that, that the tools, that the distribution, that the talent is widely distributed, is, is out there. Um, you know, maybe as someone's passion, not their job, maybe as their, as their, as their nighttime, not their daytime um, activity, but it's just out there. We have access to the biggest pool of intelligence and energy the world has ever seen. It's called the web. And we now have an opportunity to apply that energy to entirely new industries, whether it's manufacturing or healthcare or whatever. Um, you know, the ultimate abundance is people. Um, you know, we have eight billion people on this planet and we finally have an opportunity to bring the best out of all of them by connecting them. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. All right, let's get it.